we all know that getting a job in data engineering as a fresher is challenging but it is not impossible at all and why i am saying this because our guest speaker has proved it so this is going to be a very very motivating podcast for all aspiring data engineers who are freshers or maybe just college grad you will feel so much inspired from our guest speaker because she is the one who actually graduated from the college got the job offer in the software engineering domain but due to some unfortunate reasons the company didn't even release the joining letter and she had no job after completing her college itself but she took it as a challenge although it was a hard time for her but she utilized that time and magically found her interest in the data engineering domain by just exploring few skills and after all these challenges she can get into the data engineering job role then why can't you so she will be sharing all her experience in this podcast starting from the mental state of her then the preparation getting into data engineering the entire interview process how she prepared her resume projects and the complete uh, interview process what all skills she acquired so this is going to be a information in this podcast so make sure to watch it till the very end and after watching this podcast even if you feel 5% motivated and inspired then don't forget to share this video among your fellow aspiring data engineer friends so that they can also take some inspiration and start preparing as soon as possible and i hope you have heard this news that my aws data engineer bootcamp has started where i will be completely focusing on all those important aws services which as a data engineer we will be using in order to build the scalable data pipelines this bootcamp will be from very basic to advanced AWS services the live classes and after live classes live dao session we will be learning things practically very less theory full practical implementation and more than 5 plus industry ready projects as well so this most affordable and industry enriched bootcamp has already been launched and if you haven't enrolled in this one as of now then link has been given in the description early bird offer is still going on or you can visit www.growdataskills.com to quickly enroll yourself in the AWS data engineer bootcamp which is the first batch of AWS D on the grow data skills platform also you will be having a direct access to private discord channel where you can ask your doubts offline and i will be answering all those things and you already know the kind of impact our students are making globally by cracking awesome jobs in the awesome companies for the data engineering role you can see all those things on your screen itself so i'm waiting for all of you in the live classes hurry up enroll yourself in the aws d bootcamp so thank you so much shuti for joining me in this podcast and i am very very excited to have a wonderful conversation especially for those freshers who think it's hard to get into the data engineering role as a fresher and you have proved all those theories wrong so shuti it would be very good if you can give a short introduction about yourself sure so i am shruti goradka i have graduated in 2023 from nagpur university my stream was electronics and telecommunication engineering Currently I am working as full time data engineer intern at tire.ai you are a fresher and you got a job directly into the data engineering domain you started as intern and you have a full time offer as well what was your college life what was your stream where did you get your first job and what was the package so if you can summarize your college journey little bit in the first year i was very chill and not sure about the designation which Uh, which i will be looking forward to join company means not have clear mindset for that so in second third year uh, lockdown has started so then i explored um, some tech stack from youtube like python dsa and also learned html css web development related thing but not found very interesting interested to me so i only focused on python c++ and solving medium to easy level dsa question from lit code so during okay. uh, during the fourth year uh, in september hexaware came in our campus then i got selected for that uh, for get role that is graduate engineer training and okay. i was offered a package of 4 four, 4 four lpa but okay. one one year one year passed after after i got placed but the joining isn't came so once college was over and you did not get the joining letter 
what was your mental state at that time what were you thinking about your future and what you were planning for your career because it could have been a very uncertain situation in front of you like you have nothing <laughs> i was fe- feeling really down when exam i didn't send out my joining letter after the college i was pretty lost and not sure about what next what next thing to do in my career so decided not to give up even though i didn't have clear plan in my mind i started learning basic linux from youtube and completed one course uh, named as a uh, big data fundamentals for hadoop beginner guide then just kept moving forward and and i started sql queries means to do problem solving on lead code data lemur i also found that medium to uh, hard level problem of dsa i was not able to solve by myself but in the case of sql i was able to do it by my own without watching the solution this boosted my confidence why and how did you decide to pursue your career in data engineering because although maybe it could randomly you explored big data course and it excited you or there was some reason behind it how did you made that comparison okay data engineering is something which is made for me and i will pursue my career in that one i especially think that the software engineers means the top notch that works in product based company should be good at dsa and when in the case of data engineering the one data engineer should be good at sql now i found myself that i can do better in this and during college third year i also uh, did google cloud facilitator program means mm-hmm. means i have hands on on gcp so for data engineer one cloud platform is a must means we should all know data engineering related services in gcp so that's why i prefer to build up my career as data engineer what all skills did you acquire to become a data engineer and how first of all programming language the most preferable is python and second um, any sql database it could be mysql postgres anyone and mm-hmm. big data fundamentals understanding of architecture frameworks means theory concept as well as strong understanding in hands on will be must okay. in that spark hadoop hive and okay. one cloud platform is necessary in that time i was in search for a proper road map by doing some research on youtube and on google i found your channel and the good thing is that means during august september you were uh, you were starting a d noob 2.0 batch so i saw the syllabus that covers end to end data engineering data engineering skill set from basic to advanced so i decided why not to enroll in your program so i did that from october 7 uh i started learning data engineering field a lot of people say that it's hard to get job in data engineering domain as a fresher so how did you get these type of interview calls specifically for the data engineering profile what all things did you do differently how did you apply for these type of job roles i also consider that means as a fresher data to get into data engineering field is hard because i personally felt that but it is not impossible means during during that time i knew that that fresher don't have much opportunities in this field but if someone found interest in in specific field then without having another thought we should proceed towards that field so i did the same thing and about the interview calls i applied many jobs on linkedin most of us means 10 10 out of 8 jobs were asking for experience minimum 2 2 years in some of the job description my my resume is getting matched but i i was not able to apply because of because of lack of experience so in that in that case i search uh, means spe- company specific related hr or hiring manager i can say then found that email and i started cold emailing to them regarding means i don't have uh, that much experience but my profile is matches and i am 
also ready to join as intern okay. without applying on linkedin i i started cold emailing to them as you said right you were lacking in the experience although you were doing the cold emailing you need to convince them maybe another question which i can ask so how did you prepare your resume and most important how did you add and showcase project plus experience in your resume because you are fresher so what type of projects you mention yes so my whole resume is based on what i have learned in grow data skills means in do dnoop 2.0 batch yes i am really honest about that and my projects are also the assignment which were given in that batch it created a very good impact not only means uh, linkedin sends the notification that recruiter has downloaded your resume then uh, in the interview also they made appreciation towards my project the one strategy i followed that i don't have uh, means internship experience also the deal breaker in my resume is my project in the project title i made it as a link means if someone is is clicked on that it will directly it will redirect to my github github profile means mm. th- in that my the uh, whole project description is there with proper architecture diagram pipeline explaining pipeline what i have did if the recruiter doesn't notice notice it by chance then after means during the interview if they come upon my project then i said that so you can also visit my github because i have added my projects in that and my project title is clickable so this create very positive impact what will be the step by step interview process for the data engineer how many rounds are going to be there in each round what type of questions and topics will be asked yes uh, so my cv got selected for uh, two companies both are startups so in the company which uh, which i have been working now uh, there means both company has given me the assignment means before appearing to any interview as soon as the profile get shortlisted then they send me assignment and deadline that you have to complete by this this time then after completing i have to submit my assignment uh, means I, i have to submit my assignment the assignment was related to uh, data means uh, the first assignment was related to uh, scraping data from dynamic website means uh, means to perform etl ex- okay. extract extract transform load and uh, and also integrate ci cd in that if the uh, website is getting changes that only newly added data will be getting inserted in my code and the second assignment was uh, means uh, means through api i have to find nearest locator bicycle id means just like ola uber Uh, we mm-hmm. find nearest vehicle around our location the same case uh, need to replicate that then in the first round thoroughly they have discussed the assignment then after coming to the projects part then explain the projects and and in the first company i was asked about basic python uh, means uh, oops related question python oops related question and during second interview which was 90 minutes divided into three parts 30 30 minutes all over first interview was discussing whole assignment second projects and third dsa solving in dsa uh, they g- gave me one question that uh, i have given sorted array sorted array find the uh, mean sorted array F- uh, only one element is unique and rest of this repeating then find the unique one element then i need to optimization that and for that interviewer help me a lot and there were no hard level of dsa questions right easy to no, medium not beyond easy that. to medium what would you like to say to all such fresher data engineers who are desperately hunting for jobs and maybe uh in the same journey as yours not finding right opportunities is struggling through the skills so what suggestions you would like to give them don't give up even if uh, your your resume is getting rejected one one day it will sure get selected 
and put 100% efforts on your projects basically if you are a fresher use the multiple cloud tech stack services i would prefer uh, cloud related projects because the company is dem- means it is not data engineer it means prefix is added to that as aws data engineer or gcp data engineer in that means most of the services are related to cloud then then those keywords in a projects get called by ats and the chances is very high to get interview call mm-hmm. so that's why i build as many as cloud projects related to data engineer i can say thank you so much uh, shruti for joining us in this podcast and sharing your wonderful experience with all of us and especially motivating all the freshers aspiring data engineers as well they will get a lot of motivation from this podcast and try to prepare themselves as you did and will try to crack good job opportunities as soon as possible so very informative podcast i must say so a big big thanks from my side and from this entire audience thanks for joining us today Thank you Shashank for inviting me. So that is what I had in this amazing podcast. I am pretty sure you are now feeling very much inspired from Shruti and her journey. If yes, then feel free to appreciate this video, like it in the big numbers, share it in your friend circle so that they can also feel inspired and also let me know in the comment section what is the most challenging part you think uh, is basically for a fresher in order to get into the data engineering job role. I would like to hear those points and would like to address all those things in my next video uh, itself right if you are able to put down all those things in the comment that would be very helpful and if you enjoyed this entire podcast then make sure to hit the subscribe button as well and press the notification icon for all such kind of amazing podcast so i will see you guys in the next video till then just keep exploring data